And then you just gotta sort of wrestle out after you take the clip off this. Okay. Ouch. That's my head. All right, what's happening? Oh, we're zooming in. Oh man, the director has in. <laughs> got the camera. <laughs> Let me show you this. Action. <laughs> yes, action, perfect. So, first off, thanks for coming by. After work, we're all done here. We're ready to do a project. This is an interesting project because this isn't does not apply just to the Raptor only, you see. No, this has to do with 09 to 014. I believe that's right, Tom, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, 2009, 2014, and other models too. It definitely applies to very similar prior to that and, and potentially afterwards too. But what is it we're talking about? It's two things. Number one, the let's talk about the wiper motor because uh, when you, yes, let's look at, yes, focus on me. When you push the button in here, after you turn the wipers on, which the wipers work just fine, they, the motor works great, but you want to spray, you want a little spritzing of the window and it doesn't work. And you think, well, it's probably the wiper motor, or not the wiper motor, but the uh, the, the, the sprayer pump. Is that what you call it? The pump, 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 pump motor. motor. The sprayer pump motor. You think that it may be burnt that out or it's a fuse, but then you take it to Ford because you can't figure it out after looking through countless fuses on this truck, which all have insane amounts. One fuse is like 10 things on this. And yet there's 8,000 fuses. And there's still 8,000 fuses and you can't explain it. And so you give up. So you take it to Ford and then they come back and say, well, the problem with the sprayer is the wiper motor. And you say, what? How's that? Well, that's because in this particular case, Ford, in all of its genius, decided that rather than going from the switch and running the signal straight to the pump for the sprayer, they ran it through what would we call it, a relay in the wiper motor. <laughs> and then the wiper motor sends a signal to the pump to turn on. And so when it burns out in the wiper motor, so you can't just change that out. You have to change the entire wiper motor, even though the wiper motor works fine. You have to change that out in order to get the, the pump, sprayer pump. It's so weird, but we've got that order. We've got the parts in the back and there's one other, I'd say redeeming, not a quality, but, but, but feature or something else that's gonna happen here that's really good. And that is because when you turn these on, these wipers, do something really weird. I'm gonna demonstrate. When it comes up at the top and turns on, it starts hopping like this. It's not a chatter like you'd think, and I've changed these blades out just in case, but this whole thing hops. So what we're gonna do is attempt to, we're gonna try to show you, and it works all the time, except perhaps now while we're on film. So hold on. Okay, let's see if we can duplicate this. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It ain't doing it. It it's, does it's it all doing, the time. There it goes. Oh, it's do you see it a little bit? Yeah. There, see that? See that whole, the whole thing, the arm hops? And that does not look like this. It definitely looks like it's a transmission. Okay, it is. Confirmation. And you got to see. <laughs> <laughs> you see what was happening here. And it also makes a weird grinding sound here. And when we tried to look up online some videos about this year model or this range, 12th gen, we couldn't find anything. So not only do we get to hang out, but we're gonna try to show step by step <laughs> if we can figure this out. And then you don't have to go through all of that that we did. So we're gonna set up, we'll be right back. Once we get this open, we start figuring out exactly what it is that we got to take off. First things first, I should have done this ready. If you come over here, how you take these arms off, it's actually not too bad. Ouch. So flip it up and you've got a little knob right there. A little knob, a little tab, I'm gonna call it a tab. It gets right on your fingernail and feels great. But if you pull it out like this, it comes right up. It's super simple. Let's see how I do that on the inside. Super simple. That slot just goes in underneath the splines. But first, we got to take off this plate. And it's in two pieces. It splits in the middle. And you've got clips on both ends right here. This is clip. And then you've got clips inside of this where you pull this part can you see this you pull it you grab under there when you get the right tools and you pull that back and this whole thing just pops out so we're going to attempt to do that but look at this i got a gift from dr torque do you know what this is it's super cool it's essential because if you don't have this you have to use let's see if i can open oh, this with one hand oh totally you have to use a screwdriver to get under these 
and it kind of really messes things up. But with this, all you do is slide it under and pop it up. And <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> and hopefully, don't break it. You see, he has perfect timing. I will give him that. Come on. There we go. See that? Right tool for the right job. Okay, we're going to do a little more taking apart of this. But actually, while I got you, let's take a look up here. See these clips in there? You see that in there? So you just pull this back, and this pops up pretty darn easy. And then you just got to sort of wrestle out after you take the clip off this. Side. Okay. Superchargers are good for putting your foot on, too. All right, we're going to try to take this off. But there's one thing you got to be careful about in here that we want to point out. That's the sprayer hose. The very thing we're trying to fix, and it goes through a clip here. So the easiest way is to unclip this one so you don't yank out both. And then just <laughs> gently, ever so gently, <laughs> ever so gently, you take this out. Now, you've got a couple of options. You can unplug this, or not. which or not. You don't have to, but... I don't know. I think it's kind of easier to do it the way you, you see guys both ways. You can just lay it here, but since I'm kind of standing right here, I'm going to take this off and then I don't have to worry about breaking it. Because it has a clip in the back. How in the... Okay, once again, you've got a hose hooked on this side still. As you recall, this one's got multiple plugs, but. This is where it's a little risky because if this plastic's getting worn and old and you pull it off, sometimes Snap. it's <laughs> it snaps. Oh I look, wait. there's a yeah. Actually, this one can get out to the side a little better than this one could. So, okay, so this you this all comes out in one. The first thing you do here is just unclip, just unclippity, just unclippity, you just a clippity, just a clippity. You have to slide that red thing up maybe first. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing you're here. Thanks, man. <laughs> he just wanders over like, oh yeah, you just probably got a... There's a bolt right a, here. Yeah, we got a bolt down there. We got a and bolt over there. Over here somewhere. I can't yep. see these things in the way. Right there. And a bolt here. So not too bad. And then this piece of junk comes out. Transmission. 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 <laughs> and then we'll get the new one in. Okay, we got the transmission out, and there's three bolts. One, two, three. Gotta take those out and swap the motor, but I wanna show you something here too. See this looseness? That's the one that was on that side that was bouncing. I don't know if you can see that very much, but I think that's enough to cause that hopping. I'm pretty sure that is way loose. Wow. I don't even really know what exactly is loose on that. But the good thing is too, this new one comes with all these rubber bushings. Fittings? What do you call it? Do you think? Uh, bushings. Rubber bushings. Rubber, rubber everywhere. Okay, let's get it changed. Running. All right, check this out. Now, first off, I want to shout out to these guys, Rock Auto. You know why? I'll tell you why. Cause they're awesome. And you know what's awesome about them? If you want to save money, this is where you go. But it's not just about saving money. Cause sometimes you save money and you get really, really cheap crap. It's like garbage. So with these guys, you can actually get really good quality parts. That's why I like them. And it saves money. A couple hundred bucks at least on this, wouldn't you say, Tom? I can't remember how much, but... And, and also because we get it ourselves. Compared to Ford doing it, several hundred. Yes, and look, it's still from Ford Motorcraft, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking mm. about. So we'll pull all this apart in a minute, but I wanted to show you that. And again, you can save a ton of money. So you guys should be talking about it. Rock Auto, huh? Look at that. Dot telling com. you dot com <laughs> all right 
check it out in action we've got it back together there's a couple things i forgot to point out to you before you take the old one off make sure you check this alignment now this is actually not correct because as we we're tightening this bolt it turned the motor but what we did is we plugged the motor into the vehicle so and turned it on so it went to the reset or the default off position park park <laughs> park and then we put this back in the same spot and then tighten it but once you get it aligned because this is just a press fit you're good to go also one other note if you buy a new motor these bolts right here are self-tapping so there's no threads in here so it might kind of scare you a little bit when you look at it you go where's the threads there's no threads inside that's okay because these bolts make their own threads so that's it now we're going to put this puppy back together and see if it works all right let's go next step we got it back together and we kind of do the water test now we've adjusted the wipers a little bit everything's in except these last plugs just in case we got to take it back apart but i think everything is pretty well lined up i don't think it's going to spray but it's going back to ford again next week to do some more work on the camera that's still not working right and so i can tell them now that we've changed that out because they said they traced it down to that part and i'm gonna believe them it's just also not working but we're gonna see if we took the slop out of it at least i'm very excited about this part And get me all wet. Oh, I don't see any hop. Do you see any hop? <laughs> the wipers work really good now. I don't see any hop. I see it jiggling a bit, but... I see it doing a little bit of that too, but there are those rubber mounts in there. I think we fixed it, man. I mean, the wiper, the bottom of the wiper is jiggly, but it's not right. hopping off the window, right? From the inside? It wants to. You can see how it wanted to. On slow, so yeah. It's still trying to do it, but it's definitely better. That's really weird. Is that just a design flaw? But it's better. And it doesn't sound grindy inside. I think we got it as good as we're going to get it. Let's try the spray one more time. Nope. Nada. All right, well, it's back to Ford. Okay, you can stop now. Thanks. Okay, so we'll put a couple more pieces on, then we'll wrap it up. We did it as far as we can do it. He's over there. Let's do that again. <laughs> so it's as far as we can go, and we've at least proven that it is not the motor, which sucks in some ways, but it's a part done, right? And we also... What else do we do? We fix the transmission. So we got a couple things done. At least that's what we're gonna say we did. We fix the like wiper it. transmission. The wiper transmission to be specific. <laughs> I don't want to do the other transmission. So listen, thanks for stopping by and helping and hanging out on behalf of myself and Dr. Torque over here. We're gonna say we'll see you later. Have a great night. Go home, relax. We're gonna end it like always with the crazy face fist bump of friendship. Wow. Well, <laughs>